everyone, this is chapter 12, part 5. In this part, we will learn long-run profit maximization for monopoly. In the last part, we talked about short-run in part 4, profit maximization for monopoly. Monopolist maximizes profit by choosing marginal revenue equal to long-run marginal cost curve. In the short-run, what did we have? Marginal revenue equals the short-run marginal cost curve. Well, in the long run, marginal revenue equals long-run marginal cost curve as long as price is greater than or equal to long-run average cost curve. Okay? It will exit industry if price is strictly less than average cost. So if you can't even cover your average cost, you make negative economic profits you must exit in the long run in the short run you can hang in there because you have fixed cost maybe you will stay in the short run but in the long run you have to exit because you're a monopolist doesn't mean that you are going to make positive economic profits so let's say you are a cable tv uh provider in college town mississippi i mentioned this example throughout this chapter i lived in a college town hattiesburg mississippi while I was a professor there and there was only one cable company provide intern what if nobody wanted cable in that town well then you're gonna have negative economic profits you need to exit okay monopolist will adjust plant size to the optimal level of production that Q optimal level of scale optimal plant is where the short run average cost curve is tangent to the long run average cost at the profit maximizing output level i can't visualize this so i'm going to show you graphically very easy so long run profit maximization long run marginal cost curve right it equalizes it find the intersection point with marginal revenue curve okay so this is the quantity 350 go hit the price price is here 55 what's my average total cost long run average cost here boom 50 so this is average total cost long run average cost so your profit is quantity price minus average total cost or long run average cost it's the same number price is 55 right here Average total cost is 50, quantity is 350, so it's 350 times 5. What is it going to be? 5 to 1750, that's the profit, okay? So I want to highlight something at that profit maximizing level. Check this out. Long run average cost curve and average total cost curve, that's the short they are actually tangent to each other. Isn't that awesome? Like they are touching at this point. Okay. So that's what it said. At optimal plant, that quantity producing 350 cars, right? Let's say these are in thousands. Tesla 50, 55,000 and 350 Teslas per week, right? Short run average cost curve is tangent to the long run average cost curve at the profit maximizing output level. So at this 350 units, yes, these two curves are tangent. So at this 350, long run average cost and short run average cost curve are tangent. 